Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Sunday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is May the 22nd, 2016. It was on this day in 1960 when a 9.5 struck Chile. This was one of the largest earthquakes experienced in recorded history. Severe damage from shaking occurred. However, most of the casualties and much of the damage was because of large tsunamis which caused devastation along the coast and in many areas of the Pacific Ocean. Coastal cities were completely destroyed by waves that reached heights of 38 feet and carried remains of houses inland for as far as 2 miles. Tsunamis caused 61 deaths and severe damage in Hawaii as well. The experienced wave heights peaked at 35 feet in this region. Waves as high as 18 feet struck northern Honshu about one day after the quake, where it destroyed more than 1,600 homes and left 185 people dead or missing. Another 32 were dead or missing in the Philippines after the tsunami hit those islands. Damage also occurred on Easter Island, in the Samoa Islands, and in California. Many landslides and surrounding volcanoes erupted as well, sending ash and steam as high as 3.7 miles. The quake was preceded by four aftershocks bigger than a magnitude 7.0, including a 7.9 that caused severe damage. Many aftershocks occurred with five of magnitude 7.0 or greater through November the 1st. This just so happens to be the largest earthquake of the 20th century. Now that's incredible. Today is known as Buy a Musical Instrument and World Goth Day. World Goth Day originated in the United Kingdom, of all places, in 2009. It quickly spread and is now celebrated in many countries around the world. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. A year ago today, we clocked in 328 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 6.9 and a 6.8 that struck just 359 miles off the coast of Vanuatu. The strongest to strike the planet today was a 5.5 that hit the border of Argentina and Bolivia. Earthquakes are common in the area east of the Andes due to the geology of the region, which experiences changes to this day resulting from the movement of tectonic plates and the process of mountain formation. Interesting. We follow that up with two 5.1 magnitude earthquakes that struck China. Finally, closing out the magnitude 5 scale, we see that Guatemala was hit by a 5.0, as was Chile. In total, we have experienced 9 earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 4 scale. Taiwan registered a 4.9. China experienced additional earthquakes, these being a 4.8, a 4.5, and a 4.4. Afghanistan registered a 4.4. Bulgaria clocked in a 4.3. A 4.5 hit off the coast of Mexico. And finally, back-to-back earthquakes struck Severnaya Zemlya, both being a 4.7. For those wondering, Severnaya Zemlya is an archipelago in the Russian High Arctic, and parts are suspiciously blocked from view when using programs like Google Earth. It is believed this is so because there is a Russian military installation in the vicinity. Hmm. Anyways, the remaining earthquakes struck, for the most part, locations here in the United States. We see that Hawaii has clocked in two. This was a 1.1 and a 2.0 that struck the volcano. Alaska has experienced only 17 earthquakes thus far, the strongest being only a 2.6 at the Redoubt Volcano. Washington has clocked in nine quakes. 56% of the earthquakes experienced today hit Amboy. The remaining quakes hit Packwood, Clear Lake, and the strongest to be experienced struck Peaceful Valley. Oregon remains quiet. No earthquakes have been reported at this time. California has experienced 47. The strongest to hit was only a 2.1 that originated from Mammoth Lakes. Nevada has clocked in 18 today. The strongest experience was a 2.6 in Pioche. The remaining earthquakes experienced in the Sagebrush State averaged only a 0.4. Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah have also been extremely quiet. No earthquakes to report at this time. Oklahoma has clocked in three. Two in Enid. These were a 3.4 and a 2.8. And McCord was hit with a 2.5. The New Madrid has not experienced movement today. Neither has the eastern limb of the North American Craton. 
this has certainly shaped up to be a rather quiet and calm day. Hmm. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!